Hello everyone and a very good morning to you. This is Rachel live from Kalkine Studios and you're watching The Early Trades, a show where we share with you a glimpse of the Australian share market opening trade along with the global and domestic drivers triggering market momentum. Now after a weak start to the week, the Australian share market opened in the red this morning, tracking strong cues from Wall Street despite a rise in COVID-19 cases in major cities. The bottom performing stocks today on the ASX 200 are the Breville Group and Mineral Resources. Today, 18 companies are releasing their earnings reports, including mining giant BHP, real estate investment trust Dexas and Charter Hall, energy company Santos and appliance manufacturer Breville. A very busy reporting day today, so stay tuned for Calkine TV for the details on those companies. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones rose 0.3%, the S&P 500 climbed 0.25%, but the Nasdaq fell 0.2%. Wall Street rebounded after Monday's losses and two of the three major stock indices closed higher despite concerns about China's economy, the coronavirus Delta variant and also the current turmoil in Afghanistan. The S&P 500 reported a new record high. Meanwhile, analysts await tomorrow's release of minutes from the July policy meeting at the Federal Reserve. Investors would look for signals from the minutes about the Fed's plans to start easing back its monthly debt purchase. Let us now quickly look at the highlights of prominent ASX stocks under the spotlight today during the early trades. Firstly, we have investment manager, the Magellan Financial Group. They've recorded a significant drop in the performance fee to $30.1 million in financial year 2021 from $81 million a year ago. However, the management fee has increased by 8% to $631.4 million in financial year 2021 as its fund management business grew in size. Next is motor vehicle accessories company ARB Corp. Their net profit after tax grew 97% to $112.9 million in financial year 2021. That was on the back of robust demand for its products. The revenue from sales shot up by a third to $623 million. The full year dividend rose to $0.72 cents per share from $0.68 cents per share. Moving on to our next company on the list now, Venture Capital Fund Manager, Bailador Technology Investments. Their net tangible assets per share increased 23% to $1.53 in financial year 2021, with the full year net profit recovering to $28 million from the loss of $4 million in the last year. Meanwhile, the next company is property manager Charter Hall. They reported a 9.5% increase in the operating earnings to $156.2 million in financial year 2021. The statutory profit rose multifold from $44.2 million in financial year 2020 to $291.2 million in financial year 2021. However, the REIT reported a 4.6% fall in the distribution to 23.4 cents per unit. Lastly, another real estate investment trust, Dexas Property Group, grew its net profit by 17% to $1.1 billion in financial year 2021, bagged by a 2.4% increase in revenue to $1.01 billion. The distribution to security holders increased by 1.9% to $561 million. Now, before we look at some more trending updates, it's time for a very short break. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Calkine's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Calkine TV.
Hello and welcome back. I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Early Trade Show. Looking at the bond yields and the dollar, demand for U.S. Treasuries and the dollar increased as investors search for lower risk avenues amid ongoing global uncertainty. The Treasury yields fell as demand for safe haven U.S. bonds rose, with benchmark 10-year yields falling four basis points to 1.256%. The yield curve between two and 10-year notes, two basis points to 105 basis points, and the dollar rose 0.1% after falling to a one-week low on Friday. Moving on now, the crude oil prices inch lower after reports that OPEC and its allies were of the view that the market may not require more oil compared to what they plan to release in the last few months. Brent crude finished lower 1.5%, West Texas Intermediate dipped by 1.7%, energy stocks such as Woodside Petroleum are trading lower during early trade and Santos shares also edge lower too so far today. Looking at the futures and commodity space, the safe haven sentiment helped gold prices to rise today. Spot gold rose 0.5%, US gold futures rose 0.6%. ASX-listed gold stocks such as St. Barbara are seen rallying during early trade, whereas Newcrest Mining has also opened in the green this morning. Looking at the metals update, the Chinese steel futures fell on slower-than-expected growth in industrial output on Monday. Stainless steel futures on the Shanghai Bourse fell 1.2%. Benchmark iron ore futures rose 2.3% and three-month copper on the London Metals Exchange fell 1.3%. Well, that's all for the early morning trade so far today, but stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you, sharing live updates across the economy, markets and sectors, and also a very busy reporting day. So stay tuned. I'm Rachel signing off for Calkine TV.